What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to give my review score predictions for Chaos Walking. So, I've covered this movie once before. Why, you may ask, Alex, are you covering it more than one time or, or so much? I actually am interested in this movie. This movie comes out very, very soon, depending on when you guys see it. March 5th, uh, this could be this upcoming Friday, depending on whenever you guys watch this video. I do think there is something here. I think that there's nothing else to watch, personally, uh, in my opinion. as uh, Right now, Justice League, obviously Godzilla vs. Kong going forward, but I think this could be a decently surprising movie, especially if you go in with zero expectations. But I want to take it a step further. I want to look at it and say, okay, well, what could the critic scores be? And these are going to be uh, Rotten Tomatoes. So it'll be out of 100. We'll talk about what the score could be. We can talk about audience, like what people could think as well, what the uh, what people, you know, like you and me that would go out to see it or find it somewhere online, uh, maybe in a different kind of way, right? What would we think of it as well? So one of the things when we talk about, again, predicting it, the positives, one of the things I do think can actually give this movie uh, – higher score or like the score I guess would uh, rest on maybe the most I think it's tied with something else but is the, the the cast okay I think Daisy Ridley Tom Holland Mads Mikkelsen those would be the the big three of this film do I think they could carry a movie with nothing else in it all by themselves not necessarily but I do think that's a, a very I'm a big Daisy Ridley fan although I don't like Ray as a character in terms of how she was written and you know no development and Mary Sue and stuff like that uh, I do like Daisy Ridley I do think she did a really really good job um, like as an actress okay Tom Holland I am a really really big fan of and Mads Mikkelsen I mean my dear god he is very very I mean obviously he's kind of like uh, the elder kind of role for this right obviously somebody who's uh, not, not like a mentor for these two but he does have some sort of like a, a protect like an like uh, he he's going to explain a lot of things. He's going to be a guide or a protector of sorts. But I honestly think he can do an amazing job as well. He's a very very good actor. So I do think the movie. You know, when we talk about review scores. If it gets like a twenty or a thirty or forty, and again these are out of a hundred. So I know obviously these are a little bit low. But even if it gets something that low, I do think one of the things that could probably be said is. Everybody gave it their all, or everybody did like the best they could. The thing with this, uh, a movie like this, to kind of go away from the reviews and go towards like the behind the scenes of the movie. Remember, this movie has had a very troubled experience of getting to this point. Remember, this movie was filmed, it was done, it was shown to, I believe, test audiences, and they hated it. They really didn't like it, so they had to do a lot of different reshoots um, years later, too. I mean, the, the I believe they did like a reshoot like one and a half, two years after this movie was even are like already completed, or they'd already done it. So, like, it's a movie that's gone through a lot. It's a movie that literally had to have massive things changed and, and, and reshoots and all that stuff just so that you know, we don't know if it was like terrible or if it was boring. What I will say again to kind of remain somewhat optimistic, especially because it's a movie that I, I'm kind of rooting for because I, I there's nothing else to see. Again, I really do like these actors and actresses. I want to see it. I don't know if I want to pay money for it, but one thing I will kind of go against it is the trailer. Very generic plot. Very generic feel to the overall movie and doesn't really seem like anything happens even the you know IGN has done over the last couple weeks like an exclusive clip even like the action scenes like Daisy Ridley riding on the motorcycle away and then Tom Holland jumping on the horses and like people are following them that was like a one minute scene you expect it to kind of be like an actiony like a high stakes thing it felt like boring they felt like considering they were in a chase scene it felt very very boring and that's not how you want a chase scene to feel and I kind of get the sense to be honest I get the sense the overall movie will be like that again I don't think the movie will be oh well, at least I'm, this is my prediction I don't think it's gonna be like god awful like absolutely terrible I do think it'll probably be pretty boring or pretty generic I think that's kind of uh, uh th I guess the prediction or the choice of words that I want to use I would say so I, I like to give myself like a three four five point ish range for movies and games I, I actually normally do this kind of series for games I will say for this movie I think it's going to get between a 35 and a 40 we'll make it nice even numbers there are movies that I like actually pretty uh, and I said this actually. I did a. I did the same thing for Justice League at the uh, review score predictions. There are movies that I really like. In fact, one of the franchises, Pirates of the Caribbean. The first one got a pretty respectable st uh, score on Rotten Tomatoes. The second one did decent, and then ever since then, three, four, five, all did god awful on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't agree. Well, I agree with four. Five, I don't think deserves the score they gave it, and three, I absolutely don't think deserves the score they gave it. So that's just one example. I'm sure there's many other films that I, I don't agree with Rotten Tomatoes just normal. 
normally, just for the most part. But there are definitely franchises and movies that I do really like that they've given very low scores. And I get it. It's not actually Rotten Tomatoes. It's, it's who they, I guess, pluck out that, that are uh, doing the reviews. That's the thing for Chaos Walking is I just feel like not very like not trying to do anything like outrageously special a movie that could probably be carried only so far by whoever's in it i do think it probably will rest in that 35 to 40 score which again like if you're doing fun different kinds of ways of watching the film if you guys catch my drift obviously it may still be worth it right if you're going a different kind of uh, pathway to see the movie if you go out to see it right that's obviously a little bit different but I'm again. I'm I'm kind of optimistic for this movie. I, I hope maybe it can kind of surprise people. But I think it's kind of this this one. You know, again, I do these review score predictions for quite a few things. I think this is pretty easy. I could definitely see it getting in the 30s or 40s. I mean, 20s would be something too. I mean, obviously that would look really bad. But I could see it being like uninspiring. You know, critics sometimes like to say that uninspiring. Just there's nothing of substance there. But what there what is there? is like the actors, then the actresses. Like Daisy Ridley does good, Tom Holland does good, Mads Mikkelsen does good, but maybe their characters suck, maybe they don't actually do anything with them, right? Stuff like that. That's kind of, if they're, if it's negative, hey, it could surprise. It could surprise and be a surprise hit. They could get a 50, 60, 70. I mean, obviously, you gotta be, you know, at least solid uh, to a certain extent to get those scores, but I'm not saying that, that that'll never happen. I know this maybe comes across as a little uh, negative, but I do think it's possible this movie could do slightly, slightly good. So, let me know, guys, in the comments below. Oh, what do you think? Are you excited for this movie? Are you are you gonna go see it day one, week one? Uh, you know, let me know. Uh, what do you what review scores do you think uh, this this movie is gonna get to? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up. I do a brand new video every single day on this channel, and so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's.